Hi, I'm Carol Nickash from Milwaukee Area Technical College, the Dental Hygiene Program. And today we're going to see a video on how to set up panoramic x-rays. Okay, we're going to do a pan and what we're going to do is show you how to load the panorex. This would obviously be done under safe light conditions, but we're going to do it out here. So you take a film out of the box, place it in the holder, kind of wiggle it to be sure that it's centered in the box. And close it very tight it'll click and then you'll have the top and we'll go over and put it on the on the holder the back side of the film or the holder rather is is gray and it says tube side so that's how we're going to put it onto the machine okay when we're going to load the machine we're going to have the yellow part towards us it's labeled top and up so we're going to slide it in if you need a little resistance it's all you do is just shove it in so that you see this arrow here and that it's flush with the machine. We're going to turn the machine on and it will automatically say the status of it. All systems are ready to go and then it says to requires reset which is this backwards arrow so you reset the machine and then our, our machine automatically defaults to the medium setting 76 kvp and 8 milliamps and 12 seconds. So for the average female, the uh, directions are, you almost have to guess what it is looking at the size of your patient. So our patient Val is going to be a medium person and we're going to go, we're going to change the setting a little bit. 76 is a little bit too much, so we're going to press this down KVP button to put it to 74. And now we're all set for the rotation of our patient. Okay, our patient is here today, so the first thing we're going to ask her to do is having removed all jewelry, dentures, partials, anything that comes from the head and neck that can come off, including piercings. When we place the lead apron on, it's going to be a poncho style because we don't want the thyroid collar in our panorex, otherwise we'll have an error there. And we're going to gently have this go over her left shoulder and just bring it against her neck and then escort her right in here and she has to kind of walk in between the machine. And put your arms here. Okay, and then we're going to raise this up a little bit. She's a little taller. Now, just come forward and bite on that stick. There's a little etch in there, edge to edge. No, oh, go back. There you go, right there, edge to edge. Okay, all right. Now she's all set. What we're going to have her do is bring her feet towards my foot. So she touches my feet, which kind of puts her on a backward. We're going to lower this just a little bit. Let, just let loose, but don't take your teeth away. Okay, and then bring your chin down a little bit if you can. Perfect. Okay. Good. All right. When we place our patient here, we put a bag over for her to bite on. And now as the lights come on, you can see there's a tragus owl line light and one that's going to show us where the canines are. So if she would smile, we're going to bring it towards the mesial of the canine. We can move her in and out. We're going to adjust the headrest up here just to kind of remi remind her not to move her head. And once we see she's in a good position and her feet are there, she's kind of on an angle. That's good. That takes out the lower part of the, the, uh, the spine, the cervical spine here. Okay, you can close. Then the instructions we would give her is to swallow, put your tongue to the roof of your mouth, close your lips and eyes. And for demonstration purposes, we're going to go to hit it three times so we're on the demo mode, and then we can do this without radiation. So I keep going. patient just step back, let go and step back, just come backwards, there you go, perfect. Wow. After our patient we're going to take our film out and then we're going to reset our machine because this machine happens to, to only work from, from going right to left and we would have taken the bag off and then we would disinfect the arms, the headrest and that's all you need to disinfect for this technique. Now the machine is ready to go for the next patient.